But ancient, untested waters, the newest map in the pool, and the map to kick this one off. You've been thinking about this call already. You've been visualizing how that pistol goes. Ancient, the curveball thrown into this grand final. Simple to be tested immediately. Smoked off. It's just a decoy. It's very shallow. They're in, though. A split here going through Donut Flashes. Lines on up. Pop in. Away they go. Bombsite is open. Nobody from Navi to contend this one. Open one runway here. Navi are paranoid. Now starting to rotate a bit. He is going to be the first man on the scene. Looking for first blood of the final. Who will take that shot? Bomb to be planted. Long range exchange. Still nobody has hit the deck. And there it is. Blood drawn. Simple puts his name in the feed right next to the rookie. Already bodies are dropping for G2 and it's a disaster. A bomb plant something. We better hope that's not what's to come. Simple already oh. kicking things off. Flawless for Na'Vi on the pistol. Oh dear, you better hope if you're G2, you brought something into this force by Na'Vi throughout this tournament. Second round conversions, 100%. Oof. Haven't dropped a single second round here after winning the pistol. Let's see if they can keep that untarnished record. Got a bit of a tech issue here, guys. We love these. Give us a second. Perhaps he's been punching his monitor in success. <laughs> Boomish was so happy, uh, <laughs> things is done. Oh, boy. That's right now. AK in the hands of Nico. Let's see how it goes here. Being fantastic in the openings. We're going to spread out into the default across the map RG2. Not in a rush here. Have a bit to contend with aggressive towards main, but up there he is, Nico in the fight. Multiple targets. Managing his angles. Well, re aggression. Perfecto dips his toe already again. Simple. Silences Hunter. That was one of the rifles. Will be five now. This is going to slow down a bit here. Nico's low already. The simple, the same. Both on 34 points of health, respectively. Patrolling mid. Jack's now the aim. The shot, not quite there. Another opportunity here, the bullet's not landing, smoked off. Simple's gonna have to concede this position. Feeling this one out now, still a minute on the clock here. Bomb, it's making its way all the way back through T-spawn. Nico has control of the lamps. Pressure towards the B bomb site here. Perfecto, Boomage, Electronic, they're all to receive. Take a little bit of a look at the utility. There's not a whole lot, just a flash in the hands of Jax. They're gonna have to do this with bullets. Spray through Boomage low, trying to find him in the smoke. On notice now. Using every second they've been given. Already on the back foot. Nico bleeding, yet to frag. Coming in long now, walking up, contact play. Jax, the spearhead of the G2 assault. The G2 samurai. Start to slice and intersect into B. It's electronic in the off angle. Jack's already found by Simple. Surely not another spotless round. Just one from G2, and that's where it's left. Another for that 100% conversion. Yeah, keeping it intact here, and you're right. Just one kill coming on through. That's all they have to boast after two rounds of play, and they're taking their time. G2 went default heavy, took their time, took the fight, and Na'Vi stand up tall again and deliver. Want to make sure these guys aren't on a heater early. Simple with aggression as well, just thrust forward, low HP, finds another angle, and just picking them apart one at a time. Na'Vi early, reading them like a book. And now we're going to have a light pistol upgrade here. This is a chance for Na'Vi to really dig in their heels. Keep this one spotless. Avoid any of this damage. Don't let G2 plant, but that's what they're after here. A little bit of traction in Perfecto now. Flash forward, one for him. Nico hits the deck again a bit. He's here to deal with this, just cleaning house. Smoked off, denied. They're going to have to wait this one out in time. It's just going to simmer down again. But here's aggression. The Undertaker up close and personal towards the smoke. Wants to get this one done already. Confidence boosting frags these ones, especially when you're in an aggressive position. Four and oh, Jax. That's his first, and it's a spicy one. That's what we want to see from Jax here. Old boy, but he's got the aim of a youngster. Oh my god. The Part of me thought you might have had that. Time now, just to get this M4, still a minute on the clock, a couple more kills, not too bad for G2 here. We know the money game, the economy, we want to keep them humble as far as the investments go. Simple's going to have to reinvest, but he has an opportunity to bring out the AWP as long as the rest of his team stay alive. Amanek Hunter with a lot of room in mid, but Electronic's coming, patrolling. They're over towards the side, they're turning their attention one more time through Donut. It's going to be a slow approach.
bit ready for this, and there's the bomb to confirm his suspicions. It's only Hunter. Head on it. Okay. Nothing to report from the M4A1 and a nice 3-0 start. Yeah, as expected there, the Eco Bash and that second round conversion, that now in today's Counter-Strike leads to the 3-0, right? We all understand how it works. The force fight doesn't go your way. You're going to have to take a bit more of a save scenario. They did one kill. Okay, well, Jackson and are on the board, but nobody else is just yet. And it's those other three names we need to see as the driving force of G2. Nico, of course, but the supporting cast of Hunter and Nexa need to be there. The guns are out, simple into the big green, and here we go. Mid control early, you can see here smoke towards the red house, Molly as well, and Hunter and Jack, they're taking the space, bullets through, not going to connect just yet for Electronic, he's going to be flashed oh forward! God, they're both there, they line up for the spray, a one and done! Jax keeps them in it, Boomich pressure as well, Nico slid through the lane of smoke. That is a very powerful wallbang, and he's taking some gambles here. Boomich, caught out, a lovely find from Nikola Kovac. It's all about the rotation now, Simple and Perfecto are already back to B, but G2, they can take a moment here, take a breath. They're all packed up together, looking a bit clustered here over towards the ledge position, dropping down Tetris, over towards mid, and now it's Bit's turn to be tested again. It's a powerful spot in Dona. You can get a lot done, but you need info, and they've already slipped through. Not again. This time, Amanek. Silence is the rookie. They're rotating quickly towards A, then Obit is the A defender right here. Perfecto and Simple are out of position, and we might just see a save. That's great from G2 to get this gun round so strong. They played together, they traded off one another, and that's it. The bomb's down, the 40-second timer begins, and this should be a save. No funny business with a hunt, though, right? No, I, I don't think we should see G2 looking in early, right? They're going to build their cash, but the G2 fans know what that means. They're on the board. We want this one to be a competitive final here today. No more of these blowouts. The desk were talking about it. They want somebody to push Na'Vi, to put them through their paces, to truly test them here, to go through a major undefeated, never done before. They haven't dropped a single map. Yeah, would you believe it? I mean, come on. And G2 believe, you know, it's not like this wasn't a long conversation. An ancient, the newest addition to the map pool. As G2 find their first. All right, well, the... Early stakes here is that mid control. It's a little bit delayed, right? They're not going to run through those CT mollies. You saw them take their time, smoke off top mid, use the skybox molly towards Donut. As far as the cash goes, no dramas. Navi, they can buy. It's all good. Plenty of cash to splash drops, even if they needed. Kits are coming through. The buy's there. The head armor as well. I see the AWP on Simple. I mean, where do you typically... Is he responsible for mid? Is he going to be a floaty boy? What, what do you do with that big green? Keep it moving. Keep it mobile. Let him uh, set up early here, over towards middle again, and this time a bit more aggression. Two mollies, double mid out to play, extinguishes either way, and this one should stall on out unless they want to push the issue. Boomich over towards Lamps again to be tested by Nico one more time. Flashes through mid, they are taking the space. A donut has been a priority for them, so maybe the rookie of bit, they want to test it, they want to see if he can bring that form through to the grand final stage. Oh, he swallows that, blind as a bat, perfecto. Great catch, and that's the star of the G2 show. Forced to watch as round five transpires. Bit, bit again. again. Interesting smoke, Bit. Tell short of the mark on the first test. This time, backs are turned and heads are popped. One and done. Simples here, though, to clean house. Two remain. G2 already humbled. They have a good suspicion as to Simples' position. Oh, and a miss. A chance. A little glimmer of hope for G2 to... Shaping up, aggression as well, through. he's coming through, Nexus not ready for it. Oh, and that's a big one, 2v4 becomes 2v2. Game time, 45 seconds, they're not in a rush. Uh oh, but maybe they are. Detecto and Boomage have partnered up. The gruesome twosome. Ahead of it, still Turns blind, it. that's the end of Pim. A taste of his own medicine. Only Boomage. Looking in Baxa for this turned. one. Baxa turned and down goes Nexa. Pressure now onto Amanek. The 2v4. Now the 1v1. Can he turn it on? He takes the fight. G2. Two. Huge round. Two on four situation there. They just took their time. They let the game come to them. Hit the brakes. Paused on out. And now V were the ones in the rush. Oh dear. Ooh. Okay. G2. And that's, some, that, that's from Nexa. That's from Amanek. The two of them combining here. Maybe that was G2, a, yeah, they're online early. A sex around as opposed to a Nexa. 
And they're getting the orb back in the hands of Simple here, but that's it. Most players are taking a bit of an omission. Simple with the big green, it's the hero orb. Light investments across the board, some pistols, some smokes, that's all they have. They have to allow Simple to play with this AWP right now. And look at all the pressure on Nico, the only man taking this B lane control. But they don't know that. The sound is there, the smoke is there, and Nico once again has cleared it out. They have a clear game plan. This has happened time and time again. It's constantly smoke top mid, have many members come on through, get mid control, and try and pressure bit over towards that donut position. This time he's not home. This time it's all on simple with that orb. Your pistol players, they need to stay alive, and simple needs to find some traction here. But they have no information. This is very passive right now from Navi. Procedural. Lamps now under G2 rule. 60 seconds for their commitment. The bomb's still loose. If they can gamble over towards B, just take a look. Perfecto and Electronics still have smokes. It's all going to come down to the timing here. There's the first drop on out. That'll stall out another 20 seconds off the clock here. But with the bomb down, Nexa needs to pick that up on his way through T-Spawn. They're walking in. It's the right call if Jackson hit this first shot. Already chips away. At Perfecto, surely you don't want to walk through grey screen. He does take the gamble. Oh, not checking his corners. And Perfecto does make a little mess. Nico, though, he's fallen as well. G2 cannot lose this round. And Simple's hit and banger. Two on two. Bit and Simple. He has been brought low. Smokes have faded. He's got the angle here, Simple. 18 seconds. And he does connect. Amanek. Oh, maybe. It's denied and bit. Holds his nerve with a pistol, that is magnificent. Oh, we talk a lot about the man right there, but those smokes from his teammates facilitated him to get in position. They stalled out that attack right there from G2. And that right there is just the AWP, a couple of pistols and some smokes, perfectly timed. They do what they can, but coming through the gray screen, they're separated. Simple hits this, the second is brilliant, but then bit set up in the one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, he held that. Back in we go. Mac 10 in the hands of Amanek here. Could see a little bit of a pace change out of them. More players over towards B lane as they lock down mid here with heavy presence. Forward play from Electronic and up and over he goes. Tetris with the swing of Flash would be great. He's just going to peak. That's a lot of information. Hunter's responsibility as well. The trajectory does sell him down the river. Still tucks in Electronic. And Nico undeterred. Coming in hot and that's a headshot. V site only one man to defend it. Mid fight one by bit. He three can three activate. Now. They'll have to give them the site, playing for the retake. Bomb to be planted now. There's kids for this. They have a couple of smokes as well. They can wait this out. They can take their time. They have the utility advantage over G2 just here. They've dropped out of the site. They're going to piece this one together. Smoke lined up from Simple. That's going to isolate the top of B ramp. And still, we have a smoke and a kit on Perfecto. His job is clear. The warbanks might come into play here. They're all going to be isolated. Those smokes are going to start to fade. This warbank from Amanek could be everything. Running out of time here. Running light on time. The warbank comes through, calls the bluff. It, on it, on it. He's diffusing. He's still diffusing. Knocked off. That'll do. Nico saves the day in the last second. Oh, they all go down there. They all went down with the bomb just there. Money going to be a real conversation for both teams here. That's huge to pull that away. Ooh. Getting into that three on three situation. The heads up play. They boost over the smoke. Thinking on their feet right here, G2, and they're keeping this one interesting. But just take a look at the finances right now. Navi, they were bottom of the barrel. Both teams are as far as loss bonus goes. So this one should be a force. We'll catch that again. Nico through the smoke. You think he's done it? It's so close. What are we looking at there? 0 0.4 seconds on that one. Couldn't have been closer. You saw a bit adjust as well, like he nudged back off the wall bang angle. Right here, it's a timeout from G2. Right, Navi lost the round, but G2, when they went down with the bomb just there, they lost everything. So both teams are starting from scratch. The buy for them is not going to be great. You're seeing the Galils purchased up here. They're going to be light on as far as weaponry goes. And for Navi, if they buy back, if they force in, they can get themselves some P250s, Deagles, 5.7s, a little bit of light util. This is going to be a very, very interesting round right now. This is almost like a second round, right? It's almost like a second round in the game where you see a couple of AKs, a couple of Galils, but we're eight rounds deep going into this one. Mid control again on the agenda. That is a very long volley. Extinguished. They've got a stack here if they do commit to middle. Oh, what are you up to?
Nico may not be anticipating this. Oh, tip of the head. Nico does for head one and handing out haircuts. Two quick ones. The full investment of Narvi falls short of the mark initially. And that's a bit being tested early here. It was his job to hold that line. Able to get them across the line here in a three on five situation, even though Nico's low at this point, unless they walk back into the stack that currently is perfecto on Boomish towards B. This should be G2's round. They don't need to take any risks. It's been very telling of their game plan early. A lot of plays over through Donut towards A. We've seen that on the lower buys time and time again, and once more they're using that exact same avenue. And it's not a bomb site we see an awful lot in Ancient. Yeah, that's one of the things here, right? We're used to the B hits. The A is something that I, I, I really think you need that mid control to get the most out of here, but Boomich, he wants to get the most out of this round. He's heard some footsteps, would love to get a Galil in his hands here, and I don't think Hamnex ready for this. Oh, Bring around the Rosie. So loud about it. Boomage perfection. Oh, oh, oh dear! He's let that one go. There's some nerves. We're starting to see a little bit of shakiness out of Navi here early. They're not going to get too much more out of this unless they walk into the Dena Electronic. And Nexa looks like he was flirting with the idea for a moment. But as I mentioned, the economy for both teams is very fragile. This is G2's chance. Don't give these weapons up and take that away. Great stuff there. Nexa finds Electronic sleeping. And we're going to call this one 4 4. We're all tied up here. And it will have to be the eco from Navi now. This map, historically speaking, it's been CT bias, but over here at the Major, starting to level out a little bit more, getting closer as far as these two sides go. So, so far, so good for both teams. But now we are likely to lose the lead here. I'm impressed that G2 shook off that loss to the Pistols. Yeah, that was rough. Straight back, I mean, they've got four of the last five rounds under their belt. It's Na'Vi that looked likely to concede another here. Uh, they, they'd love to upgrade into these AKs, right? But they're going to need to hold on to these Galils for as long as they can. So three players over towards Lamps and Cave right now from Na'Vi. Simple top mid bit patrolling Donut. Three USPs of P250. And really, it's just the UMP. We have to turn our attention here to Perfecto. He's the only man who can find too much traction. They're jumping up again. The same play mid control into Tetris. Perfecto might get some company. Information. Still advantage here. Yeah. However, is addressing the situation. Perfecto still a threat, but Oof. silenced immediately afterwards. I think we can call this one done right now. Last two with USPs in their hands. Bomb making its way towards the B side of the map here. Not going to take too long with this one. Get their mollies down, get the smokes in play as well. Don't take any risks. That's what it's kind of key to. Whoop. If any of our newer viewers haven't seen much of Ancient, you've got to see both bomb sites over the course of these last two rounds. They're being spoiled here. Next round, we get the 2400 as the loss bonus, so that's going to mean Navi's buy. It's not going to be super strong now. Simple. I don't know what you're up to here, mate. I don't think you could get a lot out of this situation. Neither can be. On the fade, goes on down. Nexa with another. Nexa top of the chance right now. Nine kills for him along with Nico. Those two have the most frags in the server. Simple with eight, electronic with seven. Middle point here of this first half. Now, needs to be a turning point round, and wow. Uh, we're talking about the budget rifles over there for G2, the Galils. Take a look at Navi's buy. Take a look at this. They've gone for Famuses. They need the utility. They're opting for nades here over the firepower of the Silence M4. A product of that defuse round. God, there's a lot of util. Flames. All over middle. And smokes for good measure as well. He wants it. Electronic commits. He's only got 13 bullets. He won't have enough. Silence now, but it's Simple's mid hold. Nico needs this. Ooh. 20 HP in counting. They've already turned a 2v4. And oh. This now a 1v3. Amanek was a component previously. If he gets moving right now, he can just isolate a one on one fight against Bit, the A defender. Perfect on Boomich still over towards the B side, but he's not to know that. Cuts noise, takes his time, and has a decent amount of utility to work with this. A smoke could be towards Donut, a molly for Temple. Take a bit of a risk in this situation. You've got two options. Try and get that bomb down, or take a fight early. Turn it into a one-on-two situation, but Amanek creepy crawly in towards A. Mantle up towards Temple here, and I'll get an opportunity to find the timing on Bit. If he starts to reposition. Safe for now. He's going all the way through CT spawn here. If he goes highway towards B, Perfecto and Boomage are checking. It's back around towards A. This angle bit might not be expecting here. We will now. Looking for a plant. Playing for the team. $800 minimum injected into everyone's bank. And oh, he's already low. 
bit. Finding the tip of the head, now looking to repossession. They're coming. Oh, spotted on his retreat, and that's the end of that. Well handled. Right now, if you're Na'Vi, sure, get that diffusing as quick as you can, but go and pick up whatever AKs you can find. I think there's one brought on through, and Simple had an M4, right? We need to take inventory here, because this game right now is all about the economy. Both of these teams are in a position where their bank is pretty rubbish. In the next round of play, G2 have facilitated themselves another buy, but think about this, we're on the knife's edge. When you're close to that min-loss bonus, right? When you're at the bottom of the barrel, as we like to put it, you need to make sure you're picking up all the goodies. They get the AK, they get the M4, they do what they need to do here, because guess what? G2 are about to bounce back with some AKs of their own. No AWP here, by the looks of things for Na'Vi. That was huge, simple, right? That molly, I think it missed. There's no way he should have been able to get away with that. It looked like it was way too shallow. In towards mid, simple behind the flames gets two, so the impact right there from simple was massive. But now we're turning our attention. No more mid control, we're heading straight towards B. They want to punish Perfecto and Boomage. Early stop, Molly. Keeps the CTs away from aggressing ramp. Oh, nice oh, nade. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. Already bleeding. And he's gonna, oh, he's coming in. He wants to play ahead of it. Looking the wrong way, it's Boomich. Pierces the ears of Nico. There's pace to this. Have util as well, they can smoke this off and explode. Nexa already pushed up in case. Could be good for a kill to spam. Trying to make sure nobody's home, but more util being thrown on out from both sides here. Electronic Perfecto Boomage all ready to defend this. This just looks like an unbreakable site. Impenetrable. Jack's giving us all a tutorial. It's a risky molly. Smokes are coming in the air now. Simple. The hit's coming through. He's coming too. This could be a four man defense, Chad. It's so telegraphed. A boost. No vision. Bullets have connected, but G2 breaking through. Oh, oh, spotted over the boost. Jax is in trouble. If he goes for the plant in the default spot. Oh, simple will connect. Bomb loose and running shy on time. 25 seconds now. Need to get this bomb down, and they think they will. They're, They're pushing. Pressing. Went straight through. And good shots out of Hunter. Wow. Competitive now, if anything, favoring G2. Bit found as well. Okay, simple. What have you got for us? A dag, not enough, looking for the body bag. He's opted for the pistol, Amanek, hunted. Getting chaotic now, what is this? <laughs> getting a bit shaky here from either side, but that was Hunter stepping up with some massive impact, those two headshots. Uh, Nexa was the first, I believe, on the way on into that site right there. The passive play from Na'Vi, it comes back to bite them. He, they're hoping to play around behind those smokes. And a timeout now from Na'Vi to have a bit of a discussion. Blade, chance for him to get on the mic with the team here. They had a really long team huddle. Blade was the only mouth moving in it. He's back on the mic now. 11 rounds into map one of our grand final. G2 are putting up that fight we've been looking for here. It's been some good stuff early. Nico next up. Hunter there, he only has three kills, but that's an impact round, right? That's an impact round in the early stages of this here. And you can see Nico. He's got a bloodlust in him. He's got the capacity for those frags, but it's the fact his team follows up with his commit. One of the things that I want to highlight is the conditioning towards mid. It's actually drawn multiple more members over, right? We've seen Simple and Electronic trying to deal with that early. And then in that round, G2 went towards B early, right? So you can see they're trying to pull these strings. Hunter, smoked off for now. Nades on through. Not Molly gonna miss well. this time. Yeah. Get on out of there is Nico again, just the only man tasked with this B lane. They're turning their attention towards A again. So who's in the hands of Boomage, really? I think we'll save the sound effect for online. <laughs> Bit's got a CZ, perfect weapon for the job up here. Should be good for one. They can't fumble this. And Bit is striking nicely. The Deagle tested, just shy. And that's oh, the last. Clean house now. Maybe on the road there, yeah, caught jumping. Nico should have this every day of the week. Especially Championship Sunday. Gonna get pushed here, so one and two, and there it is. G2 with seven rounds to their name. Starting to turn it on here, and their map pick, it, you know, felt like it was out of desperation, that uh, Navi map pool. It's beautiful to see. But taking it to Ancient, taking it to the newest map, 
It's I working mean, out so far. It makes a lot of sense if the confidence was there for the Rosie side. And Chad, we talk about Ancient having a defensive bias, albeit by a small margin. This is a good haul. Yeah, yeah, right. Historically speaking, for sure. I, I think here, if Navi are able to get to eight, that's a great bounce back from them, all things considered. But again, it's a couple of Famuses in the mix. Simple's got the big green out in his hands. The AWP back in play, and Nico again there. Just like in the contact, he might even walk the up on the timing on here. this guy! Flashed off, Simple knows, and Simple's quicker! That was aggressive out of Nico, but the squad is still coming, the pressure is still mounting. They're in, it's gonna have to be a retake situation here. Only one kit, keep your eyes on Perfecto, and Simple plucks Jax from the pack. The hard clear, the big oh! five there, and straight through the corner! Three, four from Simple! This is his world! We're just living in it, looking good for the sixth. And they don't lose a single play. Look at all those AKs, Chad. Four Kalashnikovs and four frags out of Simple. Hey, he's just calm about it here, Simple, isn't he? This is the major performance in the final you want to see. Guess what? 17 kills for Simple now. Just a casual day in the office. This is the man you all come to see. And he's putting on a show. The first, the flash is fading. Nico trying to take some liberties. The second, the reaction shot. This one, only the bullets to work with there onto Amanek, and they just keep on oh. coming. Simple, he almost does it alone, but his sidekick of Electronic, he takes it away. Chad, he has the same amount of frags as three members of G2 combined. Quick maths. Doing that not only... That was um, a risk. Yeah. <laughs> different, different stakes right now, isn't it? Back again, the AK's out. Slowing it down again in that mid control. Much of a muchness. The boost on over. Nobody aggressive towards Tetris, giving Nexa and Nico some more room to work with. Vecto's been brought over towards Donut here, so a change in the CT defense. They're adjusting on the fly. They took that timeout, and this adjustment's come on through. Spam from Boomage. Risky maneuver. Bullets back. Oh, it's close. Narrow margins keep Nico alive. Since the update, that has been so spammable. It's paper thin and huge. Thinking about it. Oh, this is his time. He will swing on this. Oh, but Nico bests him. Everything pointed to Boomich taking that frag, but Nico has pulled it back into an advantage for the G2. They've actually pulled a massive rotation. Perfecto left, left donut, electronic left top mid. He's trying to babysit over towards this B lane back area, but the rest of the G2 mob are going with what's worked. They go and pressure bit over towards A. He's in donut again. This time, it's going to be a main push. Four through Nico, the only man over towards B. Got a little idea. Wait, there's only one smoke on Amanek to take this site. Depends on the positions right now of Electronic and Bit. They can lock this down, the two of them. Oh, well, he doesn't miss. An 18th inscribed in the feed and Bit collects as well. Oh, it's disastrous. What can you do? Simple Electronic in pursuit of the seventh, and they're just taking it in turns. Two from Electronic into this one. The lurky boy from Nico. No time. <laughs> Just worth the save here. They're going to need that going into the next round of play. The last round here in this first half. How's the fun? Yeah, 1900 coming into the bank balance. I'll let you guys at home do the maths. It's not going to be looking great for some of them. Hunter, Jax, they can buy. Nexa with a Galil, Amanek. Yeah, he's in a rough spot here. And Nico is just going to be able to buy some nades. But they should have enough here to make a competitive go at it here in round number 15. But take a look at what Navi have picked up. Four AKs. Four AKs in their hand with the AWP. That's a dream here. Especially with player like Bit in the server today. See a MAC-10 coming out, Tech-9, maybe something pacey again, right? We still can see that gear shift that hasn't come in a lot. Hunter Jacks default spread one more time. Mid control granted. B is where they've taken a big chunk of damage early here. Running through the flames, taking a nade into Boobich. He's got one and there's more to come. Boobich with the second there, shuts them down. Get out of my house. Need to find an opening here, the three on five situation. Boobich is still low. A little bit of map control here mid. They could turn their attention, but it feels like G2 are heading back towards B. And this has been a great first half, but you'd love to get one on the way out the door. Ah, uh, momentary. Calm spreads around the Avicii Arena. Last round of our first half, and already with a limp G2 in pursuit of the B bomb site. Jig the setup. 
Hard clear. Jax looking the wrong way. Easy as that. Just two remain for Na'Vi to take this half and take it with a W. Telegraph now. Gonna need some bangers of shots here out of Hunter and Amanek. Time a problem. 25. Coming in. Simple as an AK. Ready for this. They double peak. Need more out of them. That will do nicely. Na'Vi 8. G2 7. And even a fair here on Ancient. Uh, the conversation coming into this, the battle of Simple versus Nico. Well, Simple, he's here to play right now. 20 kills in the first half, that's massive. That's what you want, that's what you sign up for. Nico with 13, it's not that he hasn't had his moments. You can see how much has been put on him. The fans are loving it. I can't believe, Chad, that for some reason I had a moment where I didn't know if we'd have a full arena. I don't know why I asked that question. Counter-Strike fans have come from all across the world, and we are absolutely packed tonight. Much love, Stockholm. One more time, can I hear you? There's the pistol here. P250 Ooh. in the hands, and Amanek, he rips it straight on out. Big shot through the smoke. Away they go. A whole lot more. Look pushing at in. The Julies as well. The Kovacs Cousins clearing. Nico doesn't need his help. Hunter's just there to spectate. Na'Vi in a tailspin now. Two casualties very early into the piece, and one of them is simple. 20 frags will be kept to that. In round 16. This is G2's round now. So much time here for Na'Vi to work with, but they don't have anything as far as control goes. Bit passive. Boomage and Perfecto tucked over towards B. The bomb needs to be scooped on up. They have that one flash for Perfecto to work with, and well, right now the B-bomb site is pretty open for business. Hunter, he doesn't realize that Boomage is in pocket, has no idea these are very slinked on past. These jiggles is how they're going to confirm the B-control. It's running on back now, 50 seconds left, bomb scoops up, Nexus are starting to float on over, Nico calls mid-clear. They can start hedging their bets right now, G2, over towards the B-bomb site. He picked up a couple of names there. Just as he looks away, pressure mounts for a moment. Nico's flanking here. This could be the round. He's going to be there so quick. Uh, they're going to be w so worried about Nexa Hunter in the site. Nico's going to be here in time. Oh, he's so quick. Just need to distract him already. Puts Perfecto, pins him to the wall, and then falls apart. Perfect. Unscathed G2. Take a pistol. That's huge from them. Right, this is their pistol. Now they need to do what Na'Vi did. They need to convert in the second round. Here's the drama. Here's the problem. Na'Vi, they actually have the highest second round break in the whole tournament. 66.7% for them, right, the highest. The next is phase at 57. So right now, if Na'Vi choose to force by, this is still going to be a difficult task for G2 to get past. Ooh. Satisfying to see the jewelies. Not going to be the force by, just a light one here with a couple of pistols. Deagles, P250s, a Zeus for Boomage. Oh, Vector, this is quick. Okay, very quick. Will he be cleared? The answer is yes. Nexa provides it. Still coming. Come. Yeah, they're just going to deny all of this territory. Boomich is already slid on through. Almost the perfect weapon for the oh, job right work. here. It could work. It could work. Oh, just far away. Just a touch too far. Good stuff from G2 now. They've mopped this one up, right? There are only two more players to find electronic bit. They're walking into A. Jax to deal with that. Bomb spotted. And that is done. Jax with two big kills there to confirm. Now the AKs will come out. The buy should come through from Na'Vi here. G2 have taken the lead again. But let's see what they have in store. This is their map choice. Why have they picked it? What are we going to see in the changeup at the CT side? Both these teams have only played Ancient once throughout this event. The number one Sexa fan in the audience right there. Yeah, I think she's lost her voice. Been in the front lines for the entirety of this. And I mean, she just keeps winning. Look at this buy. Perfecto into a Deagle. Left $800. Boomich is, like, we've got the Galils. Got, this is odd, and they have to deal early with Hunter. The Molly's going to corral them. It might bait them. They might think it's just not the clear. They're not going to clear him. Simple. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Everything suggested that was Hunter's frag, but Simple turns around and slaps him. How's he done that? No idea. You can't be missing those. Not like this. They're coming on in. Amanex turn. He doesn't miss. He's going to have to find a whole lot more than that. I love the smoke and play around it. Nico's got a nade and the Farmass is there. Nico gone. Only one man and it is that MP9. Hearing does spot the first. There's more to be found and there's an AK for him to play with, it looks like. 
and he'll answer his own questions now with the smoke fading. It's great answering these questions, but Perfecto has the rotation. Bit taking the bomb all the way over towards B. Perfecto right now, if he guesses correctly, he can deny next to the territory. But look at this, coming through Dona. He might slip straight past. He might be able to make his way up and behind. Perfecto won't be ready for this. He might spot him when he mantles. He might. He's not moving though. Bit's looking. Bit's ready for this fight. He needs to win this or next could just run on in. Oh, he didn't spot him. Just slips the corner. This is the gap. He's oh, through. Oh my god, he hasn't seen him. No idea. Nexa has managed to thread the needle between these two. Perfecto's still worried about A. Bomb's halfway gone. Over halfway gone he now. Has a, he has a smoke and a kit He's looking to save. Nexa can pull this off. No, 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 no. Smoke on the site now. He's Bit not going for it. He's just saving. He had up. everything he needed and more. Oh, Gives wow. it up. No idea. In the dark. And now V, they walk away with that one. That was a bit on A, stuck in the A main choke point. That initial kill, how does Simple hit that? He's not even looking. Hunter needs a little bit of a pep talk after that one. That will, that will get under his skin. Make no mistake. Whew. Not going to get too many opportunities like that in a final like this, right? The player's not looking what? your way. Simple staring at a stone wall as you pull the first trigger. Yeah, going to oh. need to convert those. Look, it's not, it's not the end of the world for G2 right now. They can get back in here. That saved AK, actually worth its weight in gold. This is it, not looking, not looking, not looking. And it manages to hit that one there. Red face for Hunter, but 9-9, we're still tied up. B control taken. Lane is Boomage's Perfecto there to chip on in. Lots of space right now for Na'Vi to work with as G2. The wait and receive for this kind of attack. Nico in lamps. Gets in play, Util there. Oh, oh, that's an opener. Nexa just wants info and he gets a bullet straight between the eyes and there's more to come. Simple, 22 frags here in round 19. Posturing for control. Nico advancing Pushing. straight through the flames. Oh my God. And there's more. Electronic at least keeps the advantage in Na'Vi's court. And we've got 60 seconds for this one to once again slow down. Only for a moment, they've cleared out bit. Things will level out and things will slow down. Jax is still coming here. Jax pushes the issue. If he gets a bit of a timing right now, they're going to lock him in towards Cave. All three grouped up. Hunter here as well. They've hedged their bets correctly. Everybody from G2 can respond to this. Simple responsibility, and it's Jax's. To make the choice as to when he strikes. Contact to be found here. Smoked off. Now Hunter. A lot of opportunities coming his way. And that's a quick one. Nice headshot. Tucks in. Playing for Amonex. Ball. And nice from Hunter. Two headshots. He's aware. He knows where they're coming from. He's going One-on-one. On one. 15 seconds and Jax is on the hot pursuit. Perfecto will get the bomb down. Jax is going to be just behind him. The chase is on. The time is the problem here. He has to just plant. Jax knows he has to stick it. Plants for the A-Hall side. Jax makes a step. Holds the headshot angle. The Frenchman up against the Russian and Jax will take it. Vengeance. And a tenth, G2 find double digits first, and that is three of these four defensive rounds going their way. Great stuff from Shax there. Precious situation, absolutely precious situation. You see the games that are being played late. You know, Perfecto, in that moment, understanding he has enough time to run towards A, not stalling out, not getting worried about the fight, but Jax, he takes the time, he understands how that game can be played, and then his aim, he backs it, he takes the fight, Wins it with ease and puts Na'Vi back in a questionable situation where they take their second timeout. Now, the last time Na'Vi took a timeout, they immediately bounced back, right? Blade changed the script. He flipped it on them. They have enough money to buy here, at least on a couple of their players. Boomish with 4.6, Perfecto 4.5, Simple with 4.7. The other two of Electronic and Bit, look, it's not going to be great, but they can justify the purchase because it was a one-on-one. -on -one. Right now is where you want to keep the pressure on, and this has been the story of this entire map so far. Neither team has been able to break away from economical woes. You haven't been able to build a bank. This has been a back and forth game. Great stuff there from Hunter. Right, he set this one up. He hit some big shots. He made up for the boo-boo in the previous. And that buy is out. Perfecto's usually good for those. You can see it's almost a surprise to him. He's pretty good at the clutch. Tech 9, Mac 10. Still the default spread for Na'Vi. Not wanting to take any risks early. Simple deed on up to take the mid fight, but nobody going to push the issue. Again over towards B, and this time early cave presence. Deep molly towards the divider. This is going to hold them back, but Nico's already ran through these flames. Will he do it again? 
think he's had enough of that. Two of them here, oh. they are going to fight. Through the fire and flames as it fades, and it is a dragon force of Na'Vi. Breathing life into round 20. Hunter's silenced as well. This one will just peter out into nothingness, and those three frags happen very quickly. We haven't had a lot of this, right? We haven't had a huge amount of saving going on, but the issue right now for G2 is as simple as on the prowl. He's already close mid. Jackson Amanek are over towards that site. Simple can actually start crawling, right? If anybody has the liberty to overstep the line in the server right here, it's him and Nico. The bomb ushered in towards the site, will go down. Electronic is also starting to turn his attention for the hunt, right? They can probably throw two guns at this. You can justify giving two bodies away. Amanek and Jax need to hold on to this. There's no loss bonus going forward for them. 1,400 in the next. If they want to be competitive in the next round, they need to live. Deer Stalker's firmly affixed to Simple's head. They still have 20 seconds for this. There's clear intention. They are looking for the G2 members. If he steps, they will hear it from Donut. He's walked the whole way. Tucked in tight. Light on time here. There's going to be contact. There's going to be contact. Hold. And that'll do. Jackson Amanek holding on to everything. And they commit three to that, Chad. Yeah, maybe bitten off a bit more there. You can chew Na'Vi. The drop should be fine. They can work this one out, but they aren't going to be building that bank we keep talking about. For G2, keeping two alive with the cheapness of these M4s, right? It puts them in a position where they can actually drop guns. Right? The buy that you would have been seeing coming into this round, it would have been nothing if they lost those. So this is huge for them. They can stay competitive. We can keep this one tight. 10-10, all tied up here. You know, there's no defining point. Neither team is relenting right now. I've seen Nico's Deagle do unreasonable things and whistles one past the ear of Boomich. Space taken, though, and they've loved this pressure. Both teams are fighting over cave control quite religiously here, and that's a great nade. Electronic chunked on down. He's dropping Defending a couple of extra nades, yeah. Oh, smoke. Yep, nice extinguish. We'll buy time and maintain control, at least of the Cypher. Cave now occupied. Pressing wall bank deters Nico from the safety of that corner. He's going to have to take a risk here, Nico. Looks like he's pushing forward, flashed off for now, but I think he'll reconsider that. Deep smoke to buy time, maybe a bit of attention towards this cave. Hard clear on Boomich, and he's taken it. Here, and that's not bad, but that's better. Boomich gives us a 4v3. It's so telegraphed. The second wave's coming. They want to push. Jax is coming in. Jax. Got to clear him. Boomish looking the wrong way. That's great. We need a whole lot more. Oh, oh Jax delivers when it matters most. And there's more knocking on the door. Bit silences him. But still that 2v2. Can't deny the plant. Hunter chooses not to reveal where he's coming from. Time on that smoke fading now. Oh, pressure. This could be interesting. Looks away. Amanek has a chance, but simple again. Quick adjustment. They're both in here. And he still found the first one, doesn't clear the box, Bit! Holds his nerve again, that's another 1v1 for Bit. That hidey hole right there really played into that round. You could see how Na'Vi used it, and that was so much pressure, so much pressure, but immediately <laughs> the shoe put on the other foot. G2 are the ones who are broke right now. And this back and forth nature, this is what you want to see, this is what it's all about. 1v1s, as close as you like. No timeout being called here, Jax, you know you feel. He's done so much here. The second is great. Drop in a hard place. Having to worry about cave and long goes on down. But Simple's done that twice now with a readjustment. He's looked away and adjusted in time. Saving his team when they need him most. And, well, you can't deny his presence in the server right now. 23, but guess who's rocked up to play as well? Electronic with 17. The big boys, they're here tonight. Full eco taken. Hedging over towards the A side of things at G2. This one here should be a foregone conclusion. Look how forward Electronic is. He's taking so much space. Regardless of, this, of the, these rotations back on over, Simple might get to pad his stats even more so here. They're combing through mid. It's so insane to me that Bit can... Oh, there shouldn't be anything more other than this. He can hit those heads every single day. Continues to farm up. And with three added to his tally, Electronic cleans up. 73% headshot ratio from this kid. I can't quite process that. The average at the bit previous majors, we're talking 40, 50. And over the course of this undefeated spree, 
He has been body bagging through the dome more often than not. This is a really important round right now. We move into this loss bonus at 2,900. Sure, it's okay for G2, but if they lose everything, if the hunt stay religious like they have been for now, that could be a real issue. And remember, this is the map pick of G2. We go into Nuke next. Navi have won 17 in a row. The Navi Nation, they're out in full force tonight. There's G2 fans here though as well. There certainly is a cheering section. Yavici Arena willing Na'Vi for a 13th, but as you've highlighted, Chad, this is a lot for G2 riding on round 23. Going to be some issues here. Light on Util, right? Don't have all the flashes, all the HEs. They also don't even have a diffuse kit. Keep that in the back of your mind here. If we find ourselves in another post plan, it might have to be a save, and Na'Vi will then get up to round number 13. Mid control utility out. Mid control fight coming on through. Amanek thrust forward. Just the default spread again this here. Nothing quick. different. Once a look, that's going to be heard now. They'll know he's there. The cousins to be tested here as Perfecto does burn down to 39. Taz a glance, nothing to report. But here comes Navi. Four of them. Yeah, they're ready. Bait and switch. Nico takes the first. Next is here as well. Surely they pull the plug on this one. Yeah, that cancer right there. Perfecto with the lick of the flames. They were on high alert. They knew that they were close. When you do a play like that, you, you want to make sure you don't make any sound cues in that regard. You know, footsteps can be basked by the flames, but there, when you get licked on up, you know what's coming. The space is still in their favor here, but G2, it feels like they've already dispelled this. That round felt threatening. Now that it didn't work, now they are petering out. They are getting that control. But this time, there's nobody in the fight in the sign. Two smokes, couple of flashes. Must win round. All the CTs, simple. Readies himself for war. Smoke indicates a commitment, only 40 health. Nico looking the wrong way, and so are they. He gets away with it, but the sight is now taken. Boomage swinging in, delivers. Next, let's keep him humble, but look at Navi's name in the feed. Another chance for simple. Oh, God, did he get him? He actually did. Hunter's gone. And Amanek. They're committed now. Look how far Amanek is. He's also leering into the site. Looks like they're going for this. He's not going to forget about that box this time. Yeah, but no kit here. Time of problem. You're right. Do peek in. One of the three. Presence in the cave. They're both there. Their dream if they had a smoke, and they do. Jax surely can drop it. Oh, but he's been fumbling with his knees, and they both line up for him. Two more headshots for the tally, and Bit puts G2 down in the dumps. Move over, Scream. There's a new headshot machine. Bits the man. He's legit. You've never seen a rookie like him. Stepping up on the stage. Major Grand Final. First in two years. And another clutch. He's just collecting. He's farming. There was a real chance, Chad. And then Bit happens. Look at him. He, he makes him do backflips. And it means a lot to Sasha as well. 13 and that's a death sentence for G2. They're only going to have one more chance. And this one, surely a freebie. You can see again, back down to the pistols here and Na'Vi, more pep in their step now. They can smell blood. They're going quick and Boomich gets two. Nexa with something, but this is Na'Vi surging forward now. 14, more than a likelihood. There's a small universe, chat. Just a tiny one. You're telling me, Nico with a deagle, can get a couple of headshots. He's done it once. Or twice. His biggest problem right now is he's on the wrong side of the map. So as Na'Vi just slink their way in through A main, connected at the hip, all four members. It will be Nexa and Amina. And they should fight for this. They will be able to buy in the next round of play. The loss bonus is finally with them. If they can make this costly, if they can continue to put Na'Vi in pressure situations, Gonna play into their confidence as well. Smoked off. That's almost completely denied here. What are they meant to do? Nico, yeah, sure, he's coming. Unless you hit a bullet through the smoke, it's gonna have to be an absolute banger here. Yeah, no kit to be seen. The bomb now planted, uncontested. I say uncontested. A brief chance and through the smoke, simple. He's heading towards the 30 chad, and they just come into him as easy as that. Nico now taking a look, trying his luck. 
And there he is again, 28 now. I think what we're witnessing here is simple realized, I think, right? Uh, I, I feel that this man on our screen right here, there's a conversation, it's in the pubs. We know how good he can be. This one's for the resume. Yeah. All right, well, the guns are back out. Amanek, first time we've seen him into the AWP, but it has to be desperation stations right now for G2. Changing the setup, they're going for a four-man heavy B lean. Might want to fight, might want to control, they're going in. Ollie's now hold them at bay, but they want to force, they want to push, and they've actually smoked them off. They've given them the space, it's just Boomich who's through. Desperation stations, or is it time for some domination? Oh, oh, the oh. Nation! What? Right between the eyes, Nectar tucked in tight. And 15 looms now. Doom almost certain. They oh. might have to gamble. Do you really just split your resources 2 2? What do you do against that? I'm in awe right now. G2. I don't know how much Nectar <laughs> even saw of him. Oh, I, don't, I don't know what Simple saw. That. There's still a chance for G2 in this round. Pull ourselves together here as they've hedged their bets over towards A. A massive gamble stack. Massive gamble stack. They're reading Navi in this one. Bits four with this three to find. This is going to get deadly right now. G2 could do this. There's a chance. 45 and counting. Pressure on Navi to clear the site. Bomb needs to be planted within this 40 second window. And already Hunter fends them off at the gate. Another. This time Amanek puts his name in the feed. It's coming together. The Samurai. There's time to rotate. Electronic has the top mid control. Oh. It's only Nico over towards B. If he can deal with Boomich, he can win the round. G2 need to rejig this, and Hunter's trying to cut them off at the pass as well. This is about to get dicey. 20 seconds. There's so much to go on. They're through. Hunter won't strike immediately. This is the clear. He needs both. Nico. Oh, and he goes down to the dig. The site's open for business. Electronic keeping Amanek in spawn. Oh, Amanek, this is such a big frag for you. Not known to be the world's best on the orb, but he's found him. Only Simple can save them. Hunter's already on the site and Simple's pushed up. They're going to clear him. His own judgment. He didn't look. I didn't clear. He, he didn't, didn't look. look. He didn't look. Amanet, can you really do it again? He's hyper aware. Oh! <laughs> oh, they called upon him and in their dire moments, Amanek has saved them three frags, Chad. Otherwise, it's curtains. That was the screamer of Simple to kick things off. We're going to catch it again on the replay, I'm sure. The flick of the AWP right there. They had everything they needed and more. But G2, that's brilliant. Check this one out. Bang! On the peak, he's down. But this here, holding them back, not letting them through, forcing them elsewhere. Amanek does a lot, staying cool under pressure. And this could have been a genius clutch from Simple. Stepping into the line, knew he had to make a move, and Amanek just deals with it. There's some life in G2 yet. Another timeout here, third called for Na'Vi now. Blade back on the mic. G2, the resistance we want to see, we're seeing it now. You guys are fantastic. The spy's a little rough around the edges here for G2. They have the orb still. But an MP9 for next to the buy, much better for Na'Vi in this. And Amanek, 20 kills to his name. How much more can he do? Electronic, this is looking quick. They're coming out. And that's Jax. one. Jax is dead. Oh, no. Straight through the smoke. Electronic doesn't need to see them to find them. 21 and counting. And now Nico has an entire squad coming, knocking on his door. Slinking away. And no test immediately. That was nicely. Gets away with it. What was 3v5 now established into just four. Take the time to be a case of hurry up and wait here for the CTs. They've already done pretty good as far as the gamble stacks go. You can leave Nico over towards this A site, as a B site. Maybe his name alone is enough to ward them away. But Navi are taking their time as well. Bomb about to be scooped up from bit here. He's taking this walk all the way back through. Simple Perfecto towards Long Boomage, still in towards Cave. This really, truly is all on Nico right now if the hit was to come. Simple's already made it very clear that he is in this grand final. Maybe Nico's turn. They're not rotating 
They didn't move on the flash, it's, it's just, just Nico. It's just him, Nicola. In a lot of trouble. 30 seconds, where is the cavalry? He's gone down. Bit opens up the account for Na'Vi and the rest surely is history. They have to save. They have to save. It's a horrible position to be in. This is going to be 15 now for Na'Vi. 15 on the board of Ancient. The curveball pick coming on through and they've made it there first. Now it has to be the save. There's no other choice right now for G2. Tail between their legs. Amonex going to hold on to that orb. Nexa with the M4, but they've broken through. Flashbacks now for G2. They've been in the final. This is the third in the last two years on land. And every single time they've stepped up against Na'Vi, they've just been battered away. It's looked way too easy. It's got better every time, right? Slowly, but surely. The games have gotten closer and closer. This time round, they pushed them again. But does it stop here? Overtime, still a chance for this one. The loss bonus, we speak about it all the time. There's enough money to drop guns. Facilitating another round here for G2 to put up some form of resistance. But those flashbacks I'm talking about, is this the boogeyman? Can you can you beat them? Can you stop them? You get here time and time again, but they say no. You just don't know how it feels to beat Na'Vi. You've got nothing to call upon in terms of experience of how that feels, how that works. Na'Vi have got your number time after time. You Surely Electronic doesn't get another this time. He gave him a double entry on his patrol through mid. He's through. Nico could be tested early. Oh, booked! The combination, white screen from Simple, Electronic. Oh, and he's been equalized early. That will slow things down. Amanek's putting up a fight here, leading the charge for his team, and they need him to step up. 4v4, this one is going to slow down again. Simple forward, Perfecto dealing with any pushes towards B, and it's coming their way. Amanek posted up, slinking on down. Perfecto just under the scope. And there it is, the shots are back. Perfecto's low, and Nexa wants to take the fight. Flash on over, Perfecto jumps away, and there it is, another kill, but Amanek has done a lot to make that it's, happen. It's only going to be Jax. The fact that Simple's still going to be showing face on B, they're not going to go. Oof. Oh my god, he's been deleted. We don't even get to see it. Up to Hunter now, he has managed to pull one out of the hat. He's, he's got to push this, he can one isolate. On one. It's a one-on-one, -on -one. a duel, and he's lost it. Boomage takes off the head, a two-on-one -on -one established. Amanek, he's been so good. In the, the grand final, he's the one pulling G2 through, but a 1v2, the bomb is ticking. And that's the end of that.